here's a way how you can get FFmpeg for your Linux PC there's more than one way to do so but this is the way I use and with this way you won't have to install any software for your PC okay let's begin and uh, I'm gonna show you how to get it and very basics on using it just how to use it how to work it not the commands just how to work it okay let's begin first we need to grab ffmpeg uh, for windows you can download this from this web page i will link it ffmpeg serano.com okay builds and download either this or this if you are running the 32-bit os you should download this if you are running on 64-bit os you should download this i'm using a 64-bit windows 8 so i download this okay okay desktop great okay okay while it's downloading i should tell you that you should have a more uh, compressing not compressing an archiver that can extract a 7-zip you might get a 7-zip if you don't have it 7-zip is a free and open source program or WinRAR can uncompress this file as well okay okay we downloaded this file now what we need to do is to extract one folder out of it okay ffmpeg bin this is a folder we need okay it's copying great let's close this and that's it we have ffmpeg we don't need to install anything we, we have ffmpeg we can download this but i should point out that ffmpeg is developing on very fast pace and uh, they update this system every this software almost every day so you should take a look on up for updates look out for updates from time to time i recommend because they had a lot of features okay let's delete it now let's rename it to ffmpeg you can't if you don't want you shouldn't rename it but i just want to rename it okay rename FFmpeg. Great. okay let's open it and here's our ffmpeg this is uh, ffmpeg exe we use for compressing and uncompressing video files images or other fun stuff this is ff play this is for playing videos and this is ff probe as i know this is for giving you inform media information about your file okay we're gonna use ffmpeg okay this is how you can use it i recommend you having ffmpeg in your c drive in a drive where you have windows installed because the cmd as I know, only works in the same drive as, as where your Windows is. Okay, we need to use command line you know, to use FFmpeg. You most probably seen comments like this. This is how FFmpeg works. It's very easy. This is FFmpeg. I means input file. This is our input file. Anyway, for this first tutorial, I will be extracting an image out of out of this video as you can see the video is in the, in the different uh, what do you call it drive that's not a problem just have ffmpeg and uh, and output directory in the same drive as you yes windows is okay my windows is installed in c drive so i'm gonna have my output file in c drive as well okay okay let's take a look at this tutorial first we need to start cmd command line for this i'm gonna link different ways to start it if you don't know but i'm gonna press windows r cmd okay as you can see cmd has started and by default it's in c user 11 directory i don't want to save any files there output a file there so i'm gonna change my working directory 
I'm going to create a new folder folder and call it project project and uh, change the working directory of CMD to this one how do I do this? I'm gonna press CD space and drag and drop this file here okay okay let's have this open the next step is to actually use FFmpeg okay writing FFmpeg here won't work it will give us yeah this it won't work so what we're gonna do either drag and drop this file here but or if we would be working in same directory as this exe file is just writing this would work but we are not in the same directory so so we're gonna just drag and drop where's the ffmpeg go here it is okay we're gonna just drag and drop this file here. Okay. Next is I. Let's copy this. Let's copy the command. I. This is input. And we'll have our input file, which is a video from the another drive. So we're gonna copy this here. Very easy, isn't it? And let's copy the other part from here. Make sure the spaces are correct, otherwise it won't work. Here, as you can see, I didn't put a space here. If I'm gonna press enter, it won't work. But I'm gonna press a, have a space here, not here, here, and it will work. This is this is not okay here 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 is how we extract an image. I'm gonna change this to this MP. Okay. Let's start all over again. Okay, we are in the project folder. Let's drag and drop FFmpeg. I let's drag and drop our uh, video file. Let's add our command. Let's change it a bit. Let's call it. Say output name will be one now. And let's extract the image from the seventh second, not the fifth second. And press enter. Okay, that's it. We are working on with FFmpeg. As and, and as you can see, it extracted an image. That's it. That's how FFmpeg works but let's get let's let's ex, not extract let's convert it to a different kind of a video let's use we don't know what should we use okay let's change the bitrate of our video to this okay now whatever this won't have audio, but whatever. See, there should be a C A C V only C V. It means that there will be video parameters specified. C A, as you can see, will be audio parameters. But we're gonna come. I'm gonna add this to this, and we're gonna do it. Okay. FFmpeg. Let's copy this. Okay, let's start. Anyway, let's use FFmpeg. FFmpeg. Wait. Oh. Space I. Next, let's copy this. No, we didn't put any video file in yet. Okay, let's put a video file in. Move right. Let's copy this. Let's copy this because, as you can see, there's no CA. This is not specifying the audio parameters. So I'm going to take this out of here. Let's take this. This is all the video settings. 
Okay, and let's add this widget. This will copy the original audio file. As you can see, it's, it's written audio copy. This uh, defines what it should do while converting, and this will tell it to just uh, copy the source file, source audio file. Okay, let's paste this here, and let's copy this here. Okay. it started converting our uh, video file as you can see it's finished converting let's take a look at it okay it's in our project folder and just whatever we call it let's start it and as you can see it's finished converting and it works so you got your bitwet with ffmpeg there's more than one comment online so you can use it and there's a very helpful FFMPEG manual. This explains a lot of things. So, thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful. Subscribe.